Hello there guys, what is going on? Son of Chelsea back here again for another edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Today we're going to be looking at Chelsea's search for a new left back, a Christian Pulisic injury update and also potentially a young centre-back coming into Chelsea this summer from Barcelona. But before we get into any of that, I want to ask you guys, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Also hit that like button if you're enjoying the content because it helps out the channel as well. Firstly, let's talk about left backs. Uh, Chelsea obviously looking for a new left back this summer. Frank Lampard wanting to improve in that area. It's a key position Chelsea need to improve on. Ben Chilwell has been the name from Leicester City. We've heard over and over again as Frank Lampard's first choice, Chelsea's first choice target, but a new name has sprung up in recent days. ESPN reporting strongly here that Real Madrid left back Sergio Reguilón is in talks to join Chelsea with discussions already at an advanced stage, sources have told ESPN. The defender has attracted interest from a number of top European clubs after impressing in the Liga this season on loan at Sevilla. Discussions are ongoing as to whether the deal would be a loan move or a purchase for a fee of around 25 million euros. He has emerged as one of the best fullbacks in the Liga this year, becoming an undisputed starter under former Real Madrid boss Julian Lobotegui and helping the team finish in the Champions League places. Reguilón is known for being a fiercely competitive character as well as for his attacking instincts, pace and final ball. A name we haven't heard with Chelsea, with left backs, we've heard of Ben Chilwell, Alex Tellez and Nicola Taglafico from Ajax. Uh, Reguilón is a new one and it's very strong from ESPN but the one thing I will say right out the gate about this that does make me doubt this link is it's still only one source uh, ESPN. I know Sky Sports have picked up on it. Everton apparently really in for this player and they're reporting you know, Chelsea have now come in to try and sign uh, Reguilón instead of Everton getting him this summer. Nazar Kinsella, who I trust a lot with Chelsea News, uh, responded in a tweet to a, a person asking him about Reguilón coming to Chelsea. Basically stating, as you can see on your screen here now, it's still all about Ben Chilwell. Chelsea's first choice is still Ben Chilwell. They're focused on trying to get him this summer. So I think I'll put that out there straight away. This isn't a very strong source. I mean, Matt Law isn't talking about this. Liam Toomey isn't talking about this. Uh, Simon Johnson, they may be, and it'd be typical I upload this video and then they report about this. But at the moment now, it's still at that early stage where, you know, it isn't really, you know, catching fire of Reggie on uh, coming to Chelsea. It's still only ESPN saying that. So I would hold back on thinking this deal's very close to happening, even even though ESPN is staying, it might be. Now, I didn't know much about Sergio Reguilón. I'm not an expert on him. I read a few scout reports, also hearing about what people think about him, who do watch him on a regular basis. I think what's interesting here is uh, someone put this up from who scored a sort of a comparison between Ben Chilwell, a head-to-head -head comparison on, on stats on Chilwell and Reguilón. They're both the same age, age 23 for a left back. So that's, I think, a positive based on Reguilón and Chilwell. If you're looking at a younger player, a younger left back to come in and progress at Chelsea. Similar appearances, goal contributions, are exactly the same at six. The Reguilón is better in tackles per 90 minutes, key passes per 90 minutes, dribbles per 90 minutes, and pass accuracy. And also a scout report that I'll link in the description box below so you can go and read. Sort of goes into how he's a very progressive uh, fullback. A sort of fullback you'd want Chelsea to sign a player that is very used to being in possession, pressing up very high, which is something Frank Lampard wants from his team. So I think Reguilón would be suited to the style of football Frank Lampard wants to play, um, which is interesting. So if Chelsea were serious about him, I think he'd be a good addition. And as well, looking at that price, I think that's, for me, the big thing about Ben Chilwell. I think my biggest concern is Chelsea going all in for Ben Chilwell, maybe not getting him. And then you've got players like Reguilón, like Alex Tellez, like Tagliafico, I think is a big, uh, for, sort of for me, fullback for Chelsea. You know, I think if we can't get Chilwell done, if you can't get Lampard's first choice target, then for me, Tagliafico. But the worry is, the longer you spend trying negotiating with Leicester, Tagliafico could be snapped up by someone. Reguilón could be snapped up by someone quickly. So I think Chelsea need to sort of prioritise that, especially with centre-back and goalkeeper, a big issue for Chelsea to rectify this summer and how how much funds are going to go into all of those positions. I think it's good to know Chelsea are interested in left backs and we're trying to get them and Lampard wants his first choice targets which is a positive and I think it's one thing people have to think about. Whatever you think about Ben Chilwell, we talk a lot about, you know, in the past, managers at Chelsea not getting their first choice targets. Well, Lampard is now with Timo Werner and Hakim Ziyech and potentially Kai Havertz as well. So I think the club backing Lampard strongly is a positive thing. So I think backing him on Chiro is a big thing. It's just that price tag. If it goes up to 80 million, I wouldn't be surprised if Chelsea back out of that deal and look elsewhere because I think that'd be a smart move and potentially Reguilón could be that option. Please let me know, Europeans, on Sergio Reguilón, did you know about him before he was linked to Chelsea? Please let me know in the comments below. And do you think 
think he'd be a good fit for the club next season. And as well, just before we wrap up today's video, got some other stories um, from Nazar Kinsella as well about this uh, centre back, this young centre back, uh, Xavier Moamba. I talked about him months ago on the channel in an episode of Let's Talk Chelsea. A Barcelona youngster, 18 year old centre back. Um, he's a free agent, and it appears that you know there's a number of Premier League clubs in the race for his signature. Um, Chelsea appeared to be at the head of this race and potentially will be signing him soon. He's a free agent at the moment on holiday, and it is expected that potentially he could sign for the club after his holiday. Chelsea are thought to be in pole position, although sources have told Gold that five of England's top clubs have all made offers for the youngster. Now, of course, when I talked about him before with him being a Dutch centre-back, naturally, there's that comparison of him becoming the next Virgil van Dijk, which I think is a very lazy comparison. I hate when I see stuff like that because I think it puts a lot of pressure on young players. So I think it's a bit reductive to label him that, but people are impressed with him. Now, he's not going to rectify our centre-back issues this summer, but I think it's exciting to see Chelsea going in for these youngsters very early on, trying to strengthen the academy, look for that next generation of player across Europe. Of course, leaving Barcelona, highly rated there, highly rated by a number of clubs and potentially could come into the club, maybe get a loan move to a first team somewhere else across Europe, as we've seen Chelsea do with other youngsters they've brought in in the past. And maybe in a couple of years time, if he's good enough, could come back into the first team and help us out then. Please go and read Nazar Kinsella's article. I'll leave the link in the description box below so you can read more about Moamba and his potential move to Stamford Bridge this summer. And lastly, a Christian Pulisic injury update. We've been worried about Christian Pulisic, how long he's going to be out for after that injury that took him out of the FA Cup final on Saturday against uh, Arsenal. This is from TalkSport. So I think we're probably going to have to wait for uh, Frank Lampard to do his pre-match press conference against Bayern to get a full sort of picture about how long he's actually going to be out for. But TalkSport reporting that he's going to be out for four to five weeks. Not the worst thing, if true. I have to be honest, you know, that would get him back for fitness sort of at the start of September. We know the season starts on the 12th of September. We know that Frank Lampard wants a little bit more time off for Chelsea and is asking the Premier League if Chelsea can have that, as well as other clubs, other top clubs are competing in Europe in Champions League and Europa League competition. So maybe 12th of September could be pushed back a little bit further for Chelsea for their first game of the new Premier League season. But it's big for Chelsea getting Christian Pulisic back to fitness. He really is. I mean, he has been Chelsea's best player since the restart. What he's doing currently he just looks exceptional he looks head and shoulders above everyone else and you think with the new sign is coming in what he could achieve next season if he has a full season of fitness I mean it is a little bit concerning the amount of injuries he's picked up this year but if he does remain fit we've seen already how big he is for Chelsea's attack and I think he I, I think I said this uh, yesterday answering a question I think that Pulisic could reach 20 goals next season. Of course, that's, you know, based on form, based on the amount of time he plays, based on injury. But please let me know your opinions on this injury and also your expectations for Christian Pulisic next season in the comments below. But that is it for this edition of Let's Talk Chelsea. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch it. If you did enjoy it, hit that subscribe button and a notification bell so you never miss an upload. Follow me on Twitter at Son of Chelsea. Have a great day and I'll see you again.